before I hit the stage, I do like sort of warm up my voice a little bit, but I don't know if I call them exercises as much as I would just call them random screams and, and sort of me just, it sounds like that I'm being angry at something or someone. So I'm usually screaming, like screaming at an inanimate object and just going like, fuck you motherfucker, and that's my, that's my way to warm up. And I don't mind, cause I'm, I'm, it's like, I'm not the, the kind of guy who, who gets bothered if people drink like in front of me. I mean, I, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't want to be like, I, I want the guys to have fun and like, I want them to party if they feel like it. I mean, honestly, everyone's dialed back a little bit because we're older, you know, it's like you're not 22 anymore. And it's, it, it's, it's just stupid. It's just stupid to try to kind of like keep up with, 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 the, with the type of partying that you did when you were like, you know, 25 or whatever. And hey, man, you know, back in the day, it's it's like, I I can honestly say that I mean, like, I did it all, and then some. So it's like, you know, at least I I I got it out of my system, so I don't have to, I don't ever have to feel uncomfortable about the fact that, like like I let's just put it this way. I mean, I'm totally comfortable with like, you know, just going back to the tour bus and watching a movie after the show. It's a pretty heavy title. I really want to know what worshiping chaos means to you specifically. First, it was just a song title. Then I started thinking about it, like you know, what am I, what am I saying with this shit? It makes perfect sense for me because I, I'm kind of a dude that I'm, I'm a very restless person, you know, like like for example, total total silence. You know, that freaks me out. You know, yeah. there always has to be something going on. I understand that feeling too. Yeah. I hate silence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's scary, dude. It, it is. Like, when I go to sleep, there always has to be something. I mean, that that's the funny part of it, though, you know, like, okay, I worship chaos. I mean, it sounds very strong, but, you know, it can also mean that I, I just need to have friggin' Seinfeld in the background when I go to sleep, <laughs> you know, as long as there's something. Yeah, but total, total fucking silence, dude, I cannot, it scares me, you know. Therefore, you know, chaos around me sort of makes me feel comfortable. And then, you know, I just, I just pitched the uh, the song title to uh, the other guys, and they were like, "That's that's like pretty fucking strong." So I mean, that could be an album title, which you know, I agreed. It's like it's pretty in your face. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> so the language that you choose to write your lyrics and sing in is English, and what prompted that decision at the start of your musical career, given that your first language is Finnish, right? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it was never even like a question of what language. I mean, it's just when it comes to like rock and roll, rock music, metal music, you know, it's just, it was not natural to do the songs in English, you know, and, and uh, I don't think, I don't, I don't think it would do like one or the other, or if anything, you know, of course, it's better to sing in English than in, in Finnish. Considering that thing was a pretty fucking small country, so, you know, <laughs> so uh, well, I'm yeah. from Egypt, so I can totally relate. So. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, but then again, of course, you know, this kind of music, you know, it's like uh, the lyrics. I mean, you, you have no idea what the guy's saying half the time, anyway. So <laughs> yeah, you know, it could be Turkish. You know, That's true. Okay. Well. You guys had a cover song competition, correct? Or like fans like chose a cover? Say yes. 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we'll go to the next <laughs> question. <laughs> Did you ever see the midget commercial for Skeletons, like the promo for Skeletons in the Closet? Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> Have you seen it? No. You have it? Are you serious? There's like a commercial with all midgets. Promoting skeletons in the closet. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm serious. Well, I figured you guys would at least know. No, I, I really. <laughs> shit, you know. Well, I haven't seen it, but I already love it. <laughs> Put it that way. Are you? Are you? Are you fucking with me? Right I'm now? dead serious.
I have the yellow one, the, the white one didn't make it. <laughs> didn't make it. I think I threw it like across the stage and it wasn't the first time when I'd done that, you know, because these are like super durable. You can do that and like basically just grab it and keep on playing. It's pretty insane. But the white one basically it looked like it just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> it was like splinters and like pieces of wood everywhere. It was a festival run, so we always hung it up on the door, you know, with a sign that how not to play guitar or something like that. <laughs> or <laughs> what not to do with a guitar on the stage. Uh, what was the most embarrassing moment of your life? Of my life? Jeez, mm -hmm. like, I gotta think about this one. Um, can I take a minute? Because I really need to take a minute in here. Well, normally I would actually refer to the show that I was just telling you about, but you know, I've already went through that subject, so I'm just gonna come up with something else. Uh, Yeah, you know what? Actually, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's. I was in, on on second grade, so I was like, what, nineties or whatever. Yeah, and and I had I didn't have long hair or anything, but it was kind of long anyway. And then the the, the school was about to end. You know, it was like spring or whatever, almost June. You know, so you know, always you have you know this kind of spring whatever. Uh, the, the ending party at the school or whatever, you know, and and uh, so before that, you know, my parents, you know, they told me that okay, I, I have to go to a barber shop, you know, to you know get my hair cut, look, because it was like out of control, and my dad took me to the barber shop, and but he had to, he had to go somewhere because he had he had like a job thing that he had to do, and and he was like okay, just whatever, you know, just do something, and I didn't I didn't I wasn't even paying attention what the guy was doing with the scissors and the goddamn thing, I was just reading comic books or whatever. And he was just asking me, well, should I cut more? I was like, yeah, should I cut more? Yeah, sure. And then I, I, had, I almost had a fucking shaved head, you know, like. <laughs> and when I went into the school, I mean, everybody was just laughing at me and pointing fingers and shit like that. And, and uh, so, I mean, that's like, I got into like a couple of fights because of that. And then I just, you know, I ran home like crying and all that shit like that, you know. That was pretty bad. Is there any kind of music or an instrument that you can't stand at all? Hmm. <laughs> Music, probably like all this Brit pop bullshit, you know, like Oasis and stuff like that. I hated that shit, man. I really did. And, you know, a lot of bands, you know, who have like, you know, the kind of bands that the, that the music sounds kind of whiny and, you know, complaining, like um, Pearl Jam. Like Eddie Vedder, I mean, let's just say Eddie Vedder's voice. I mean, it's, it's one of these instruments that I find pretty annoying. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I, I had a really happy childhood. I mean, that's probably like you know, yeah. If you want, if you want to use the word happy, I mean, that's probably the happiest time of my life. You know, because I mean, yeah, my parents are cool and everything. So I mean, it was, you know, I had a big sister. I still have a big, big sister, by the way. And uh, you know, I was, I was all good. I mean, it was pretty regular, I guess. You know, I would just you know, run around climbing trees and playing with toy cars and shit like that. I was you know, doing something forbidden, I guess. You know. <laughs> I mean, that's what kids do anyway. So, I mean, Where were you raised? Was it Helsinki? It was Espoo. It's like a suburb of Helsinki. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where the like bottom is, actually, mm -hmm. as well. Are your parents proud about you nowadays? Yeah. I mean, they're totally into what we're doing, you know. So that, you know, they, they, they still buy our albums and shit like that. You know, and, like my mom, she's keeping a scrapbook, like, you know, of all the, well, everything she can find from magazines and newspapers and stuff like that, like interviews and pictures and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, they're totally into it. I mean, she's basically running the archive for you guys. Well, almost, yeah. <laughs>